All right, this is going to be our one tree <laughs> uh, for the living room. Take one. Mark. Take well, it. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to our lovely living room home. This year, as you can see, we... Where do you want me to start, dear? Anywhere. You, would you like me to start with our 1960s Kessler Collister Window Display Elves? These were an acquisition from some very good friends of ours. Oh, you're in the light, dear. Oh, am I in the light? I'm there sorry. You go. There we go. Um, these actually were in the windows, the Christmas windows of the Kistler Collister store at Lomas and San Mateo. Uh, like local store. Local store, sorry. That was back in the 50s, 60s, closed in the late, early 70s, I believe it was. And the motors are not working on them right now. The, each one of the gears inside these things are made of wood. So it's very old and it's very fragile, so we have to take very good care of them. Um, here we have another one. He's decorating the tree. We like to refer to these as the creepy creatures, because if you come around the corner and you're not expecting them, they will scare the bejesus out of you. Especially at night. Especially at night. Um, hopefully by our next Christmas decoration, these will be all functioning and restored to their glorious beauty. <laughs> Moving over, this is our Christmas tree. This is one of three Christmas trees that we have in our home. This is our formal tree. Uh, we call it our formal tree because the decorations tend to be a little bit more classy. Is that a good word? Yeah. A little bit more formal, classy, um, things that, you know, just don't fit in our other two trees, one which is Star Trek and Beatles, and the other one which is more funky ornaments. Yes. So we do uh, quite, uh, we were trying to actually hang some more ornaments on there. There's just no place for them, is there? No. Uh, we represent all of our animals on here. We have Dobby and Hermione, little stockings. We also have hidden deep in the tree, and I'm trying to think, there's a little baby Atticus hidden right there. Can you get him? Mm -hmm. Right there's baby Atticus. And I think somewhere is a linen. There's a baby yeah, linen. Right here. And there's baby linen on the tree as well. Um, well. Of course, those two are babies that we've lost. But uh, Dobby and Hermione are still here tormenting us as always. <laughs> and as you move from the tree, fireplace, where the stockings are hung by with the chimney with care, and some 1960s bubble lamps, which were a gift from Ed's mom for me. And... Sitting in front of the fireplace, fast asleep, jolly old St. Nicholas. Um, St. Uh, Nick did go through a restoration this year. <laughs> he got new clothes, uh, new fabric, um, doing a few more things to him, but right now he's where he needs to be, asleep in front of the fireplace. And I think, is that the end of our tour? I think so. I think we... Just gives you a little idea of what our, our living room looks like for those who can't come and visit us. Um, but as always, if you find yourself in Albuquerque and you just want to stop by and have a cup of eggnog with uh, some Crown Royal, knock on our door. <laughs> we'll be here. We'd love to have you. Yay! Merry Christmas. Bye. Happy New Year.